who in law is faithful, you in law is able God. We want to thank you this morning because we have come to hear from you. We have come to eat for your table. We have come, my Father, in glory, that we may know your will. Therefore, eternal Father, I invite you this morning to speak to us in a language we will understand. That at the end of this session, Father, your name will be glorified. Thank you, Father, in glory. Father, write your word in the table of our heart. I pray this morning that all your children, let there be no distraction now. Remove away every distraction, every power, all the hindrance that want to hinder us not to pay attention. Father, let those power be put to share right now in the name of Jesus. Blessed be the Holy name, Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. This morning, taking a message. We are looking at a message that will enable us to really look back of yesterday and take that message serious. Who can remind us what was our topic of yesterday? Who can remind us what was the topic of yesterday? Nobody can remind us what was the topic we treated yesterday? The only hope of a faithful Christian. The only hope of a faithful Christian. Friends, through that message, now we look at the other part of the message that will enable us to focus that hope, to really focus and not to be distracted by anything. Because when you are being distracted by the thing, you may miss, 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 miss that hope. What is the message? The message said, our citizenship as a Christian is in heaven. Our citizenship as Christians is in heaven. Our citizenship, my citizenship as a Christian is not of this world, is in heaven. But today, the citizenship of many people are on this earth. That is why you see people, pastors are getting crazy of not standing against the, the error, living, giving people poison. Yesterday night, I saw a film, I call it a film, film of this pastor attacking this pastor. Say, pastor, you have deceived many people. And now they was prophesied that he had a revelation. Is it a revelation of God? God's God, God say the Lord, God spoke to him that this other pastor will be sent to desert and they will, they will eat grass for seven years. Friend, I say, oh, wonderful. The people today, the reason why you see pastors are looking for popularity, not to tell the people the truth, is because that pastor is not having confidence that his citizenship is on this earth. The reason why you are getting crazy of sin, the reason why you are getting crazy of wickedness, the reason why you are getting crazy of pursuing the things of this world, friend, is because your citizenship, you focus on it on this earth. Your citizenship, you are no longer focused that your citizenship is in heaven but you are not focusing your citizenship is on this earth. That is an error. Let's look at the Bible in Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Galatians chapter 4, verse 26. Please, are we there? We are going to be fast this morning with a lot of things we need to read in the Bible. Are we there? God bless you. For Jerusalem, for Jerusalem, which is above, is free. No, no is I said Galatians. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, sorry. Yeah, okay. But Jerusalem, Galatians 4. Yes, go ahead. 
Okay. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. I continue, sir. Read seven, yes, 27. But for it is written, Rejoice that barren that beareth not, bring forth and cry, though that traveleth not, for the desolate hath many more children than she which hath an husband. Yes, God bless you. Amen. You need to have understanding that your citizenship is not of this world, brothers. Our citizenship is what is in heaven. Now, we are going to look at this message proper so that we have a better understanding. First and foremost, when we talk of a citizenship, mean our homeland. Our homeland is in heaven, not on this earth. Our whole land, but many Christians have not yet known that their whole land is not of this earth. Let's look at that. Is why that they are focused on the world, not of this world. We have become stranger. We have become stranger and pretty on the earth. Let's look at Romans chapter eight, verse twenty-two to twenty-four. Romans chapter 8, verse 22 to 24. You are there. I read, sir. I read, but, for, we know, for we know that the whole creation groomed and travelled in pain together until now. And not only they, but ourselves also, which are the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves groom within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope is seen not, but hope is seen not hope. For what a man says, why do it he yet hope for? Yes, God bless you. What is the what is that thing? Remember, you are you we are the first fruit. We are the first fruit Christian. We we treated this message before. Christians are the first fruit of Christ. And uh, you need to go back to that message. If you have not uh, listened to that message, it will help you go to YouTube and uh, you will see it. Which we have the first fruit of the spirit, even we, ourselves, grew within ourselves, waiting for the adoption of the word of Christ. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. Hope that is seen is not hope. What does it mean? Mean that yes, hope, those things you are seeing, you may call it hope, those things are not hope. The hope, what is hope? Hope is a, hope is, is something that you are not seeing, but you believe, you hope that you are receiving that. That is what hope all, all about. Now we go back in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 13. Hebrews 11. 13. If another person is there, you can read, but if you are not there, the sister can also read. Any... Hebrews what, sir? Hebrews 11.13. Okay. I read, sir. God bless you. Go ahead. These are, these are dead in faith. Those are, sorry, those are dead in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off, and we are persuaded of them, and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Yes, know that you and I are strangers. If we are strangers on this earth, why are we not looking? Why are we not pursuing to come back the earth? If you are a pilgrim, you are a stranger in where you are. You are now looking forward to see how you are going to be comfortable on that particular spot you have arrived. You have arrived in a spot, a spot whereby you need to walk, you need to move forward because you have not reached your journey. But now you are now looking forward to see how you are, how, how you will not combat that place, not to move forward. 
you have not reached your destination. You are, you are on a journey. And you got to a point, maybe for instance, you are traveling right now from Italy to, uh, to Africa, but you got a, your, 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 you, you got to a point like Jamie or France or a Mor a, 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 a Morocco or any other place. And now they are telling you that your flight, you have not reached your destination. You are saying, no, I want to, I don't want to move forward anymore. I want to begin to look for how to make sure I systemize myself and remain here. Brothers and sisters, that is an error. That is an error. This is the error that are not swallowing many Christians. They have forgotten that they are bringing, they are on this journey, they have not reached their destination. Friend, you can see today people are pursuing the citizenship of this earth more than the citizenship of heaven. People are pursuing it at all costs. But if you ask them, they lost their citizenship in heaven. I pray God will help us through this message this morning. Let's look at uh, the same um, Hebrew chapter 12, verse 22 to 23. Hebrews. Go ahead, precious, please. Verse 22. For ye are come unto Mount Sinai yes. and unto the city of the living God, mm -hmm. the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. Mm -hmm. 22. For the general assembly and church of the firstborn, which are written in heaven, and to God the judge of all, and to the spirits of just men, made perfect. God bless you. Amen. Mark the word to the general word assembly. There is assembly that is greater than any other assembly. You know, right now, we are in assembly. Am I right? Are we in assembly? Eh? Are we in assembly? I'm asking a question. You can answer me. Are we in Sir. Yes, yeah. we, are, we are in assembly, but there is assembly that is greater than assembly, which is what the general assembly. But many people have lost focus of pursuing this general assembly. Friend, if you, if you miss this general assembly, I'm coming with a message that says, if you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. If you miss this general assembly, you will face the assembly in hell. If you lost the focus of this general assembly, you will be focused. It may be today, your, the business you are doing have made you to lose that focus of general assembly. It may be error, it may be pants, it may be dollar has made you to lose that general, the focus of general assembly. I don't know people are doing atrocity. If you see the way they are serious, they are experts of telling lies to get this error. They don't know that because of that, they have lost the general assembly. They have lost the focus of pursuing the general assembly. But Jesus is telling us that our citizenship, our citizenship as a Christian, is not on this world, is a heaven. Because of that, we must pursue that citizenship at all costs. We also move, the same Hebrew chapter 13, verse 14, Hebrews 13, 14. I read that. God bless you. For ye have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Yes, we seek that one to come. For ye have ye we no continuing city. Man, the world, we don't have the city that will continue forever, but we seek one to come. Are you still seeking that one to come? That city of the new Jerusalem. Are you seeking 
that city to come or you are seeking of the city of this world there is a name brothers and sisters for us to disactivate ourselves and reactivate ourselves back again in first peter chapter one first peter chapter one verse 17 first peter one 17 chapter one verse 17 I yes. confess me. He says, For he received from God the Father honor and glory. When there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, this first, is my. First Peter chapter 1 17. Ah, okay. Sorry, sir. And if ye call on the Father, who will touch respect of persons, judge it according to every man's work. Pass the time of your sojourning year in fear. Yes. Pass the time of what of your sojourning here on earth. <laughs> Pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Your journey from here to heaven, you must pass that journey with fear, knowing that. You are not of this world. We must do everything possible to realize that our citizenship is in heaven. People are so wicked today, Christians, pastors, because they are pursuing the land. The land has become, because they have reached a level, they have told themselves right now, they go nowhere that this world, this land, this earth is their final destination. That is why you see people are so wicked. You can see the wickedness of Oshomole because these people, they have carried animal heart, believing that this earth, this is where they are going to live and die. And they forgot that there is a home that is greater than home. They forget that there is a country that is more better than a country. Their focus is not on, on this heaven. Their focus is to make sure that the whole Nigeria, they put it on pocket. You can see wickedness in Nigeria, the so-called president, injustice, insecurity, people, poverty, actually people of who that we have the resources because all these people believing that their citizenship is on this earth that is why you see them today that the money the resources that belongs to you and i we are being drove away from the resources and they have given they have they have they have decided to take it alone and to eat it and so that we can die but glory be to god we are undiable friend God is going to avenge for us, but do not lose your focus. Do not lose your trust. Do not lose your confidence. Do not believe in that God will not avenge for you and I. Do not believe in that. There is no more hope. There is hope. There is a need for us to continue our journey. Therefore, we say that no matter what we are saying in the world, we must have hope that we are expecting a country that is better than Nigeria. We have been born from above in John chapter 3, verse 3. When we read John chapter 3, verse 3, we see that there's something happened there. We are being born from above. We are no longer of this world. In John chapter 3, verse 3. If another person is there before me, you can read. Okay, I am here. He said, Jesus answered and said unto him, Very, very, I say unto thee, except a man is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The reason why you see people are still pursuing the citizenship of this earth more than the citizenship of heaven because they are not born again. Husband, 
Are you a born again? Wife, are you a born again? What is your focus? Single brother, single sister, are you a born again? What is your focus? What is your priority? What is your goal? What is your goal? What are your what are your what are your view? Friend, what is your priority? Your priority is in heaven. You look at the whole world. What is going on? Look at America. Look at Europe. I saw yesterday France and Germany. What is going on over there? I saw in in, in America. Everywhere today, you see what happened in Lab, Le, Lebanon. Friend, are you not seeing the world? Confusion upon confusion, confusion upon confusion. And uh, you are still seeing all these things, but you have not yet realized of what, of respect yourself back and to say, no, I must pursue the citizenship in heaven. You have not yet do that, but the Lord is talking to you this morning. Son, you need to restrict yourself back again. Our names are written on heaven register. Let's read in the Philippians, Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. Our lives are guided by heavenly standard, and our right, our right has been kept in heaven. Are we there in Philippians chapter 4, verse 3? Yes, sir. And I entreat thee also through your fellow, help those women which labor with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers, whose name are the book of life. Oh, you can see what happened there. He said, I also, I entreat those also through your follower. Help those women which labor with me in the gospel. Friend, do you still help those people that labor in the gospel? Do you still remember them? Do you still help them? But look at what happened in the under in the in C? He said, and with other my fellow laborers whose name are in the book of life. Your name, do you really have assurance your name is still in the book of life? Maybe when you were born in key, you have this assurance, but now you have lost it again because. You are not pursuing the citizenship of this earth. You are no longer continuing. You are you are not you have told yourself no. I need to settle here. No more moving forward, brothers. Ride on, my people. Ride on. Ride on, my brothers. Ride on. Don't be tired. The battle is not yet over. Ride on, my brother, fight on. There is a need of fighting on. There is a need of continue because the battle is not yet over. The journey is not yet over. When the journey will be over, when you have entered heaven, that is when the journey will be over. I pray God of heaven will help you and I for us to continue this journey in Jesus' name. It is, it is to heaven that our prayer are sent to. Let's look at it. It is the Margaret, you are there, you can read in Second Chronicle chapter 6, verse 21. Second Chronicles in Old Testament. Second Chronicle chapter 26. Alexa, 7 Chronicles 6.21 Yes, read. Taking therefore unto the supplication of thy servant and of thy people Israel, which they shall make towards this place, hear thou thy dwelling place, even from heaven, and when thou hear it, forgive. Yes, God bless you. Do you see that? For you to know that our prayer 
ascended to heaven, not on this earth. Therefore, if our prayer ascend to heaven, that is where our hope should be. That is where our focus should be. And our hope is directed, is directed to where? To heaven also. Our hope should be directed to heaven. Many of our friends, families, members are already there. Oh, what a wonderful. Many of our families, our brothers, like a senior brother, our father Abraham, our father Jacob, our father Isaac, our father Moses, our fathers David, our brother, our father Joseph, all these people, they are already there. Our father Paul, Peter, James, all of them, they are already there. Brothers and sisters, we must do everything possible to have this focus of what maintaining the standard for us to reach that heaven. Do not lose. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a somebody? A somebody that you reach airport, they ask you, where is your passport? You say, hey, my passport is at home. Have you ever seen that they will allow that person to pass? Mr. Brown, are you on this program this morning? Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, are you there? Mr. Brown, are you there? Okay, maybe it's not there. Something happened to me time ago. I was traveling to Germany from Italy and I traveled down to far airport. As I reach airport, right? I, it, it, that is when I remember my passport is in, is in the house. Therefore, they allow me to pass the first board, second, as I reach the third, the lady said, Mr. Ma, we are very sorry. Your passport is not with you. You can't make it to fly. I was thinking it's a joking matter. I said, no, I have passed first, I have passed second. He said, but yeah, this is the last moment. You cannot go, friend. It was like a thing to me. Don't do, don't do, don't do, don't do. The flight, they, they check everybody in. I was seeing the flight, see me see the flight. And they close the flight, the flight zoom off. And I tell you, I don't know when the BTS fell on my, on my face. Friend, that is how many people are going to miss heaven. You will see the flight, but you will not enter. Why? Because you have lost your passport. Your citizenship is no longer with you. But I wish my passport was with me. Those people, they will allow me to enter. Friend, don't miss your citizenship. Don't miss your passport from earth to heaven. Don't jeopardize with that passport. It is something very, very important for us not to jeopardize with. And who will be with them soon? We are going to meet them soon. Jesus is there also. Jesus is there also preparing a place for us. And he has, said, he has promised to return and take us to himself. Where we read yesterday in John chapter 14, verse 33, we, see, we go back to that place to see what happened there in John chapter 14, verse 3. He said, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Friend, the only people that Jesus is coming to take, not everybody that are gathering as a church, not every pastor that I say, I'm a Jew, not every pastor that has, every man or woman that I say, I'm a prophet. Jesus is coming for a charitable church, church without spots, church without wrinkles, church that are being prepared, church that are being prepared, 
Those are the only church. Those are the only Christian that Christ is coming for. But I pray that when Christ return, you will not miss heaven. We can see Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Sister Tracy, if you are there, you can read Ephesians 2, verse 6. Are we there? Anybody there? Ephesians 2, verse 6. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I read it, sir. Okay, go ahead, Sister Tracy. Ephesians 2, verse 4, sir. Six. Okay. And ha and had raised up and has raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Jesus Christ. Do you Christ see that? Jesus. God bless you. Do you see that? He has he has raised us up together and made us to sit together in heavenly place in Christ Jesus. Friend, you as a sinner, me as a sinner, eh? Now, God has made it possible for you and I to sit with Jesus. What a glorious, what a wonderful, what a miracle love. But many of you are not ready to sit. The only people that will sit with Jesus, not everybody, only those that follow and do the will of the Father. Those are the only people that we sit with Jesus when Christ comes. In Colossians chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. Colossians chapter 3, from verse 1 to 3. Are we there? Yes, sir. If, read, if ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Hold on seek there. Your, Hold on there. He okay. said, now, nah, if ye be raised with Christ, seek those things which are above. But many of you are not seeking those things that are above. You are seeking of the woman hair. You are seeking of the makeup. You are seeking of the property, the land. You are seeking of what, how you can buy, house, how you can, uh, how you can exchange women as a, like rapper, how you can exchange men as a rapper. How you are, how you can cook, how you can cook the life to make sure you corner that that person. These are the things you are seeking. You have lost the citizenship. You don't seek anymore of the things that are above. You are not seeking of the things that we perish more. These are your priority. Read verse two and uh, two and three. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in Lord, in the God. In God, God bless you. You can see that it says, set your affection on what? Set your affection on the things of above, not of the things of this world. But today, the world, the Christian pastors, that is why pastors are having four jets, three jets, pastor today, they are doing competition of being the, the richest pastor in the world because their affliction or their, their mind, their mindset is on the things of this world. That, those money they have in their bank, they refuse none that poverty is killing people, none that young men and young women have frustrated. They don't care of how to use it. Friend, why can't man can't be showing zero zero, but my account in heaven is showing billions, gold, gold, precious stones. Because I know I am what? I'm Passover. I know that anytime people slept last night, many could not wake up this morning. What about you? What is still your focus? What is still your thought? You have lost, you have lost the passport. You need to find your passport right now before it will be too late. I pray that God of heaven will really help you and I for us to know that the coming of Jesus Christ is very, very close. In Hebrews chapter 6, verse 9, 19 to 20. I pray Hebrews chapter 6. 
verse 19 to 20. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. 19. Which hope we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, and which entereth into that within the veil. 20. Whither the forerunner is for us entered, even Jesus, made an high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. Yes, God bless you. We need to know that. That God, Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, He cares about your life. You can go and read Revelation. I will not go there. And you can go and read Revelation chapter 7, verse 9 to 17. For those reasons, we long for a better, a better country, e.g., a heavenly, a heavenly home. Only one, only that. Wherefore, God is not ashamed to be called our God, and He has prepared for us an eternal city. He has prepared for us an eternal city. We must pursue this eternal city at all costs. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 16. Are we there? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, you can read. Read my, read my, you can read my. Verse what, three? Hebrew chapter 11, verse 16. But without faith, it is impossible no. to... Please. Hebrew 11, 16. But yeah. now, Hebrew 11, 16. Okay. But now, they desire a better country that is unheavenly. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he had prepared for them a city. Yes. Beloved brothers and sisters, you stay hungry for that city God has prepared for you, or you are hungry for the city he has prepared for you on this earth, or you are hungry for the city Satan has prepared for you. You know that if you don't go to the city God has prepared for you, we go to the city Satan prepared for you. It's two things, heaven or hell. This morning, we conclude our message with this word. All believers, Christians, pastors, prophets and prophetess all over the world should restrict themselves back and return back to God. Restrict yourself. If you have lost the passport, search for the passport right now before it will be too late. Search for what? on that passport because without this passport you cannot reach heaven but what is this passport that i need to search is it i need to look for embassy what is this passport what is this passport this passport is what is your garment the holy garment removing your hand away from sin putting on the righteousness of god which is the saint that are being prepared for the saints. The righteousness of God is the beauty of the saints. Put in all that righteousness of Christ. Remove your hand away from evil. Repent for your sin and embrace Christ that you may have this heavenly city. I want you to bow down your head right now and look into your life. Have you lost the passport? Have you lost the focus? Have you lost your citizenship? This morning, you can cry to God and tell the Lord. Maybe you, when you started, you know that you were on the journey. But right now, you are no more on the journey. The world is no longer having effect in you. You are sick. Brothers, now you are not experts of lies, deceiving people, cheating. You are not dying any morality, fornication, friend. Bow down your head and talk to God. I close my Bible. Tell the Lord to help you that you don't want to miss this citizenship. That now your eyes are open that our citizenship as a Christian is in heaven. 
not on this earth. Tell the Lord to disconnect you and reconnect you back. Tell the Lord, I humble myself this morning. I realize that I've been distracted. I realize that I have missed the track. You can tell yourself the truth. That you have missed the track of going to heaven. Eternal Father, I want to bless you. I want to glorify your name. Lord, if I miss the citizenship as a Christian, what am I living for? Lord, if I miss it, I am finished. Therefore, Father, where I have missed it, I am asking you right now for mercy. I'm asking you, Father, to show us your mercy. Let your mercy speak for us. Let your mercy, Lord, purify us. Lord, as many of those, many out there that are hearing my voice now, that have lost their citizenship. Father, as they are crying to you right now, I pray, Father, you will forgive them and wash them and purify them. Lord, help them to recover that citizenship again. Merciful and righteous daddy, you are the only hope we have. I have no any other hope of living in this world than to meet you at the end of this journey. I pray for all these great men and great women hearing my voice on social media, Facebook, on Zoom, those that are connected on phone, those that will still listen to this message, my father in glory, I pray that you will help all of us for us to return back, Lord, and look for that citizenship we have lost. Lord, many have lost it, but they don't know anymore. They, don't, they have not yet realized they have lost it. But this morning, I believe that we have realized that we have lost it. Father, help us that at the end of this journey, we will have the cause to rejoice. Thank you this morning. Blessed be the holy name. Today's weekend is in your hand. Protect all your children, even though they are sleeping, going to bed now. Lord, I pray that your light will shine upon them. I pray you will cover us with your precious blood. I pray you will defend us. You will sustain us. Lord, you will empower us on this journey. That at the end, Father, we will have the cause to rejoice, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.